All right, so boys, road to the final team two is officially here. Alongside Nico SBC, a male player of the month SBC, what can you be doing right now investments-wise and fodder-wise to be making at least 50 to 100,000 coins per day? Drop a like, do subscribe, and let's get in the video. For fast, cheap, and reliable coins, make sure you check u4gm.com and use code SF for 5% discount on all your orders. The link will be in the description down below all right so guys the road to the final team two is officially here with two brand new SBCs. the first one you're going to see in the background nico williams SBC five star weak foot four star skill moves the card is incredible however very very expensive around 550 thousand coins for this card if i quickly go to forbin and I'm going to go to active SBCs. Nico is 546k and player of the month Yamal is around 220,000 coins. Do you think these SBCs are good value? In my opinion, Yamal 100% not a good value SBC. Freestyle week foot first of all. And you can see the downvotes. 2,000 downvotes, 1,200 upvotes. No playstyle plus. Maybe around 120 to 150 would be a fair price. Above 200 in my opinion it's just not a really really good price but that is the content two brand new SBCs alongside road to the final team two let's talk about investments and let's talk about mass bidding filters what have i been doing on my account you can see in the background some flips i did i got Cherky for 160 sold 177 martinelli paid 52 sold 57 salah paid 240 i think it was sold 278 Stegen last night obviously i told you in the video to buy a few between 26 to 27 Sold in between 29 to 29.5. And a Griezmann, I bought around 95. Sold at 105. So that was a few flips I did do. And obviously in my VIP Discord as well. Let's cover a few mass bidding filters and a few investments regarding fodder. Do I think fodder can rise in price in the upcoming week? I actually do think so, yes. I do want to talk about some investments. The first one is 85 rated fodder. If I quickly switch my screen, go to cheapest buy rating. So... 85 right now between 3000 coins to 3500 coins what price do i think these are a good investment for example around 2.8 to 2.9 i think it's a very very low risk long term investment however if you pay 3.3 to 3.5 i just don't think it's worth it so again the first investment in today's video long term investment it can be a few days it can be a week it can be two weeks until we get a casino SPC or maybe a player SPC that's good value to make 85 for that rise in price. So 85 is around 2.8, 2.9. Sniping might be difficult. So what you can do is use a filter I am using in the background, 2.1, 2.2, 9.9, 10 k Click search and you're going to see a few 85s. Not many, just because today, surprisingly, EA did not release tradable store packs in the store, even though it's a Friday. So again, Mass bidding filters are not the best, but it's just there in case you don't want to use it and in case you want to give it a go. 85's target price, like I said, between 2.8, max I would pay is 3k, nothing more. So unless they drop tonight on the free, I'm not buying. Tomorrow content, they probably will drop again. So I'm going to be a little bit patient with 85's. I'm not going to rush and invest. We have plenty of time to buy these as investments. So 85's long term, around 2.8 to 3k, I think. It's a pretty good investment, especially if you lazy list 3.6 to 3.7, you're going to get a bunch of sales. The next thing I want to talk about, we do have a brand new leaked SBC dropping soon. So if I go to Twitter and we go to Foot Sheriff on Twitter, we have a brand new center mid from Juventus SBC coming soon. So I do want to talk about potential link investments. Faram or Taram, link SBC coming soon. Not link SBC, Taram SBC is coming soon. But I want to talk about link investments for this specific SBC. If you did watch my video yesterday, what did I tell you? To buy Araho card for around 98 to 99. Araho is 110. By the way, earlier he was all the way at 115 as you can see in the background. So again, Araho did good up around 10,000 coins since I told you to buy him feel free to take profit which investment can you be doing with this leaked sbc coming soon the first card that again gets into my mind is bremer inform this card first of all has risen so so good out of packs second of all 
he has more potential because of this SBC center mid and Bremer is center back and the card by the way is very very good in game definitely up there with one of the best center backs in the Italian league so today he was around 105 dropped all the way to 105 obviously Turam got leaked people started investing so if you can get Bremer maybe 115 to 116 I still think he can rise further maybe push 130 to 135 what I do advise is do not overpay a lot of investors right now have bought Bremer so don't overpay the market should come down later tonight so in my opinion Bremer I'm going to give you a target price of 115 if he drops lower obviously buy lower if he drops even lower obviously just don't buy and wait for a bigger drop but Bremer should really hit close to 115 as people start selling their teams as they have finished foot jam. So Bremer is another investment. Also the gold card is interesting but this one has a lot of supply. He does get packed a lot. Tomorrow our content if we do see packs the gold market will drop. So Bremer gold card is not really as safe as the team of the week. Because team of the week is no longer in packs so this card cannot get packed anymore. So Bremer is another card as a link investment I do like for the Turam SBC dropping soon so let's talk about some flips we did do during division rival rewards anyone with literally any balance if you have 10k 20k 50k you would have doubled your coins let's have a look at some flips we did do Salah obviously I did it on my account and I posted it in the VIP discord as well 250 to 280 thousand coins Mendy 115 to 125k Saka 30 to 33 by the way Saka went all the way to 36 so Saka, very, very good profit. Bremer on PC, 105 to 128. Tonali on console, 44 to 48. Bremer obviously first sale window at 1k per card. We have Bremer on console, 105 to 115. Tonali again, 41 to 48. Dayani, 73 to 80. Van der Ven, 62 to 69. Rodrigo, 130 to 144. Rudiger, 164 to 180. Harlan on PC, 220 to 247k. De Jong, 85 to 100,000 coins on PC. Alvarez, 34 to 40k. Davies, 25 to 28. Frimpong, 39 to 46. Musiala, 78 to 85. And the list literally goes on and on and on. Chiesa, 115 to 145. If I go to the Profit Channel people, all they did, copy and paste the exact investments I did. And you can see in the background, people made bank. For example, Vert, Musiala, Rodrigo, Again, Foden, Kachawi, Gero, Akanji, Griezmann, etc. Let me quickly scroll up even more. Foden, Vert, Rodrigo, Kunde, Martinelli, etc. This is the VIP Discord. If you boys do want to join, all you have to do is copy and paste every single investment we post. And we tell you exactly when to sell in the sell card channel for just £10 a month. All you have to do, have your Discord notifications on. When I make a post, you buy the card. And of course, when I make a post again you do sell that specific card. The link will be in the comment section down below. Instead of wasting money in the packs in the store, £20, £100, £200, trust me guys, for £10 a month, you support me, you support your coin balance, and obviously, you support my business as well. Let's get back to the video and talk about a few methods you still can be doing on the side, including different investments as well. So if I do go back to Twitter, I talked about it yesterday as well, but just in case any of you missed the video yesterday, or maybe you're new around here, Let's talk about some investments you still can be doing out of packs for that investments. For example, we have Medina 85 rated gold card. She is officially out of packs already 3.8. I told you yesterday to buy her between 3.3 to 3.4. She's up 400 coins. Can you still invest? I'm 100% sure snipes and open bids between 3.4 to 3.5 should be very, very easy. The next investment, another fodder card from Borussia Dortmund, the cam from Germany. This card is already up in price. Actually, it's not up in price. It went down. So it was actually 3.8 earlier. Right now, it's 3.5. Perfect time to rebuy a few. First of all, he is 85 for the price. If I go to cheapest buy rate, you're going to see this card is literally the exact same price as the rest of the 85s. The risk here, in my opinion, is very close to zero. The only way this card drops is if investors just start spamming the market and listing him 3.1 to 3.3 but overall i think long term sell time would be next week around wednesday to thursday make sure you sell before friday before he officially comes back into packs but this card around 3.4 to 3.5 should be a zero risk investment especially if 85 for that goes up in price this card will rise further in price so that is another investment i like they buy like the exact same thing 
I did talk to you about that Bala a few days ago. I told you to buy a 23. Unfortunately, he has dropped. But I still think this card can easily rebound to 23 again. So if you do want to double dip on Dybala, you can get around 19.5 to 19.750 and just wait for midweek. In my opinion, people will still be using Dybala in the teams. It's only the first week of the game being out and the card is actually pretty good. Five star skills, which is nice. Three star weak foot, a little bit unfortunate, but the card is obviously very good. And another method I think is pretty underrated. No one really uses it. So let me quickly talk to you about this. It's called the Silver expensive trading method so i'm going to go minimum 950 and the maximum price all the way at 5000 coins click filter by price and you're going to see in the background you have silvers that are worth minimum 950 to 5000 coins how is this going to work all you have to do look on forbin have your phone next to you or maybe your pc and go and bid and snipe on as many as you can for example let's take for example this left wing from celtic how is this going to work this card is obviously 1900 coins all you have to do open bids and snipes try to get 400 coins to 500 coins below what he's selling you're going to get so many deals so many people open packs bronze packs silver packs gold packs etc and they pack players they not check the price when the card actually sells so you're going to get so many snipes so many open bids with silvers for example this right back from coventry the exact same thing go on open bids go on snipes and try to get 400 to 500 coins below what he's selling for and sell the card straight away for profit obviously this is a lower budget investment not even investment lower budget method to be doing on the side if you do have 20k 10k 15k even 50k you can probably make 20k an hour easily if you snipe the right card and you're going to see in the background you can take a screenshot of the video right now that is a few silvers selling at 1.5 a little bit more 1.2 to 1.8 and more and i go to the last page page number three even more just screenshot a video and get started go on bids go on snipes and you're going to get so many deals so that is another method on the side for lower budget people if you do enjoy sniping and bidding this one is for you and if we do go back to fubbing boys a lot of cards are extinct right now for example garnacho 88 rated 550,000 coins max price. If you have the coins, if you want to gamble, try to snipe and hope EA update the price ranges soon so you quickly sell for profit. So Garnacho is one of those cards. If you have coins, make sure to snipe and try to get. We have Gusto, center back or right back from Chelsea. Max price, 380k console and PC. The exact same thing. And the final card in today's video that you can snipe if you do want to gamble, is Loftus Cheek from AC Milan, 290,000 coins on console, 290 on PC, the exact same thing. The only risk with these cards, if EA take days to update, days and days and days, and people snipe, people snipe, people snipe, people snipe, and when they get updated, everyone sells at the same time, just because it's been days since they got updated, and the market just drops, and the card just drop in price. So hope EA update these cards at least tonight or tomorrow morning. So those three, Garnacho, Gusto and Loftus-Cheek, pretty good prices in my opinion. Garnacho a little bit expensive, but Loftus-Cheek 290 I think is a pretty good price and I do expect this card to at least go 350 to 400 when updated. And honestly guys, we have mostly talked about everything in today's video. Let me quickly check the Shadows and the Hunters because I do expect them to keep rising to max price. Shadows yesterday were 4.7. Shadows are literally 4.8. So the max price, like I said for the past week, I've told you, buy shadows, buy shadows, and buy shadows. They're going to reach 5k. And you can see in the background, they're literally 4.9 selling instant. So make sure you list your shadows for 5,000 coins. Hunters, I've told you about hunters as well. Right now, 4,200 coins. Hunters are the next chemistry style. That will go to max price. Yes, you've heard it here. I mean, it's common sense. If hunters, if shadows are extinct, hunters will follow. And that is my dog. In the background, Milo, there we go, he stopped. Uh, Hunters around 4.1, 4.2, if you can get, just list 5k instant. They should rise there in the upcoming days. And anchors should rise as well. You're going to be asking, why should anchors rise? Because shadows are extinct. People are going to be struggling to get them. And they're going to move on to un anchors as well. So anchors right now, 2,400 coins. If you can get 2.2, 2.3, those should start rising as soon as the shadows slowly closing on 5 thousand coins any questions comment section down below my vip discord in the comment section down below make sure you join check the investment channel and every single investment i do on my account gets posted in that discord drop a like 
do subscribe and I will see you boys tomorrow with another video.